Hey everyone, Lazy Gamer here. I wasn't really planning on recording today. I was mostly coming out to get resources because I don't like to waste all your guys' time. You're here to watch Pokemon, not here to watch me mine. So I figured I'd just start doing that, and I'm very disappointed I didn't get it on recording. Just a second ago, I was walking, and I was like, you know what? I'd really like to find a shiny. And then I seen a Rattata, and I'm like, oh, a yellow boss, and I run up to it. And it's not a boss. In fact, it's a shiny Rattata. I found my first shiny, bro. It's not the best shiny. It's a Rattata. But that doesn't mean it's not awesome. Because it's shiny. So I figured, since I wasn't really planning on recording today, but since I found a shiny, I figured this would be the perfect time to record. Because, ah, oh, look, there's a boss over there. Or maybe it's a shiny. I don't know. Um, yeah. See, here's the, here's the difference if most of you Pokemon fans don't know. That one's ye like yellowish tan. This one's, the real one's purple. Uh, eh. And <clears throat> I'm not sure if you, I'm sure you've noticed by now, but uh, I did level up my Swampert, if you guys remember. I put that at the end of the last video. Uh, I leveled him up a little bit more to get to, so I can get caught up to everyone else. And then I leveled up my uh, enormous Aeron, and I forgot to get that recorded because it was so, you know, just quick. I didn't really pay attention and forgot to do it. Well, there's Laron. I'll make sure to catch him when he evolves into his final form next time. He evolves at level 42. And, um, and then I found a fossil and got him, Archin. He's the, I think, the fifth gen one. I'll show you guys what I've done to the house after I fight this, uh, you know, boss, because I kind of want to try to get a Master Ball. I fought a boss a second ago. It was also green, and I have had really good luck today because I got Shadow Ball, Brick Break, and those two I know are really, really good. They're really good moves. And let's see what I can get from this one. Let's use... Oh, I had an Ice Beam. Yeah, I used Ice Beam on Swampert. I use Muddy Water. Muddy Water is one of my favorite moves because it's just really, really good. And that's one thing I need to. That's one thing I always hate about Muddy Water, though. It's really good, but it always has a decent, or just a tiny bit chance of missing. I need to get a wide lens. Okay, I got a Thunder. Oh, I got Thunder, a Thief. I got an Ether, and I got a Repeat Ball. What I just. Uh, I don't have any Pokeballs really. I have a Moon Ball, which I got from a boss, and I used my only other Pokeball just now on the Rattata. I felt I came very unprepared and I was going to be sad if I didn't catch it, but I was glad that, I guess I guess I could say I was glad that it was my first one because it has such an easy catch rate and I did not want to have to worry about using just my two Pokeballs that I had and not catching it. That would have very just, that really, really would have disappointed me if I didn't catch it. And as you can see, I'm still starving myself on here. I have so many potatoes, but I have yet to make my farm for it. I don't want to eat any, because I want to use as many of them as I can on the farm I'm going to make. Makes it a little easier. And, uh, yeah, no one else is on, because I'm guessing they probably already recorded. Some of them have, I believe, maybe. Because everyone else, they always get on way before I do, because either their time zone's different than mine, and by the time I'm about to get out of school. They've been out, out of school for like three hours, four hours already, so they've already done something. Uh, one of them will probably get on eventually, since usually uh, what everyone else does is they just get on and then they look, and if it doesn't say anyone's on, they don't even bat an eyelash. Or, But if someone is on, I know for a fact they'll probably get on. I don't know who, though. Maybe we could record with someone new besides Vox or Dwarf. We'll see. See how it goes. But I just figured I'd uh, say I can't believe I caught my first shiny. Everyone else was passing me up. I'm like, Box already caught two, Dwarf caught one. I'm like, when am I going to catch one? And the moment I say that, I turn around and there's a shiny. And at least I could tell the difference, Peach. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's pretty hard not to miss. I mean, if you see a purple ghastly and then say, oh, I want to catch a ghastly, and then you turn around to see a blue ghastly. I'm sure you could tell it's shiny, but nope. Apparently, they look the same. Uh, we don't starve all the way, so we're fine. But, uh, and yeah, I'm probably just going to drown myself really quick, because 
it gets me back to the eh, do I hear spiders actually do I, I hear spiders yes I do can I kill it can I kill it can I break it yes wow uh, music disc music disc I'll take the resources, as long as it's useful. I won't take all of the horse stuff, because they don't spawn, so they're kind of useless. What's in here? Ooh, smite. Eh, I'll keep the book. It's a book. Why not? They're not... The smite book's not useful. But, it's a book. It's kind of cool, I guess. I'll keep it. Ooh, what's that? Oh yeah, that's the the giant uh, crab Pokemon. I said I was gonna drown myself yet. I haven't drowned myself. Oh, give me a second. Uh, my family always likes to interrupt me at the most uh, inconvenient times. They do this all the time. Okay, so I don't. I just wanted to come over here and see if there's anything new because I know I believe mudkips can spawn in the marsh or the. Yeah, swamps. I know they spawn by rivers, but I've seen them spawn in here before, because technically they are like a ground type too, so I I just figured since it's named Swamp Earth, it would probably be in the swamp. I'm not sure. See, that it's going to be Eradicate, but I do not know what color it will turn out to be. That I believe Box said it's red because he's caught one before, a red Eradicate. That's pretty cool. So, let's drown ourselves and go back to the house and show you what I've done. Oh. Drown me. Hurry up. Let's work it as my inventory while we wait. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's, let's wait. Ah, oh, there we go. And we die. Well, yeah. I did this. This is what I've come up with. It's pretty much, yep, the same Poke Center as that one over there. But completely out of wood. I like this look a lot better. I don't know why. I know that Poké Center looks cool, but this one I just think looks more unique since I kind of just rebuilt it. I'm glad they left the glass there so I didn't have to replace it, but <clears throat> yeah, this is what I came up with. I had to go to the nether to replace that because I stole those. I had to get those. Here's my chests. I, um,. There was one of these. I got those back. I made a. Uh, yeah, I did a lot of stuff off work or off camera. I have a cleaner, which is what I needed for the fossil, and then I got the machine. I was able to get a lot of ores. I made sure to stock up so we didn't have to go mining every episode. We got like four stacks of iron, fifteen diamonds. The diamonds will come in handy a lot. I should probably put the bucket in there. Yeah, there we go. Right down here. Food stuff, haven't done anything really with it. Just, just blank chest until I start getting all my food and farms done. Here's my Pokemon TM chest. Which I'm putting these away. I might actually keep the really good three on me because I don't know why, but I don't want these anyone to just randomly borrow them. Because on here, as long as you ask if you can borrow something, you can borrow it. Just I don't really want anyone to ask about it. Because these are really good and I know I'll use them. So I'll just keep them on me. Uh, boss drops. I didn't really get any boss drops that I could really put away. Oh, we put the leaf stone away. <clears throat> yeah, I have. I've organized my chest. Uh, building blocks. Yeah. I went mining, did all that. I used up pretty much all my wood though. So I don't got any wood. Let's put all that away. Uh, this is yeah, miscellaneous items. I'll just put these in there. I'll just no, not that. Put that there. I'm just randomly organizing it in a random way until I come up with a a look that I like. <clears throat> yeah, this chest. Let's put the ether away here. Uh, I don't really know what these do. I'll have to look them up. And I'll put the, ooh, yeah. put the spider eyes away, and then we go over here and put the items away. Okay, <clears throat> actually we should make some Pokeballs, because 
I don't want that to happen again. Walk into a shiny and have like two Pokeballs. That was very scary. Oh yeah, I was cooking some. Uh, where are they? Not oh, really. Ran out of coal for that. I had such a good amount of coal too. Okay, those are done. Put that in there for them. See, I had just enough coal for all the other ones, but that one. Okay. Got all those. From what I have, I'll make some Ultra Balls. Eight Ultra Balls, I guess. And Great Balls. I don't want to go with Pokeballs. Great. Okay! God, she said she was going to leave, and then she spends like another ten minutes, and then she then she decides to leave. <sighs> she really needs to work on her timing. Or maybe she's just waiting for me to record and then cause noise. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There, I got 30 of those. Should be a good amount of Pokeballs. Now, I have a enchanted iron hammer, or diamond hammer I got from uh, Fluffy. He gave me his because he wanted a better one because this one just has fortune. <clears throat> I took it off his hands and... I already had this one, which is much better than what he had. I don't know how fast it is on Pokeballs. I know it still takes a while with the, iron, the aluminum plates. We'll see how fast it goes with Pokeballs. Oh, this is decent. I guess we don't have to sit here and uh, have you watch me just hammer out Pokeballs every for the entire episode. Yeah, I'll try to get some Pokeballs. I'll show you around what people have done to the place because they've made walkways and worked on their houses since the last time I recorded. Make, I want to at least make all these Pokeballs since I already made them out. Yeah, pick these up. Okay, we got nine so far. We need to actually. Do we get any stone? Do I got any stone? I got. 18 stones per stack. Yeah, which one? Put it in this one. There. I can actually. No, I don't think I really can make much more Ultra Balls. So I'll just leave with 8 for now. Make more when I actually make my farm. That's one thing I'm going to have to figure out. I'm going to probably make my farm underground. I like to have everything stay on my land because i like to know where everything is and not have to run around every 20 minutes just to go somewhere to get food. So I keep everything around my area. So I'll probably make my apricot farm underground as long, uh, along with my uh, potato farm. I did the same thing on the that server that we did the pre-series on. Yeah, we still play on that one and it's really fun. And uh, maybe sometime in the near future if they come up with a new update and we're still playing on it. We'll use that to play on and show you what we've done. Unless they restart it. Then I don't know. <laughs> I always hate when they restart Pixelmon servers. Drives me nuts. Because you'll have like, oh my god, I got my favorite Pokemon. And then like you'll say, oh, I can't play for a couple days. And you leave. And then when you finally get back on, you find out that they were restarted the server because of the new update. And they wanted to start fresh. Uh, that drives me nuts. I never like doing that. Takes forever to get everything back. I mean, I wouldn't mind probably starting over the Pokemon part, but usually they just restart the entire map. So you have to find everything completely brand new, and that just drives me nuts. I don't mind starting over halfway, but completely, I don't like that. Okay, got all the bottoms. Let's make the Ultra Balls. At least we can easily tell when the Ultra Balls are done because of the the red top. So we just have to sit here and just not even have to pay attention to how, how we're hammering it. We just have to wait for it to pop up. I wish I had my uh, Efficiency 3, Unbreaking 3 uh, Diamond Hammer on, that I have on the other server. It literally makes 